Fetty Wap, the man who once delivered chart-topping hits, is now in prison for conspiring to distribute over 500 grams of cocaine. It's a far cry from his glory days in 2015 when he seemed to have the music world in a chokehold. Back then, you couldn't go a single day without hearing Trap Queen or 679 blasting multiple times. Despite his initial success, Fetty Wap made questionable financial decisions, stayed loyal to the wrong people, and sabotaged his career. But what led to this dramatic downfall, and who were the puppeteers behind the scenes? Let's unravel the story. To understand this, we must rewind to the moment of his meteoric rise. He achieved a feat that's unheard of. His first four songs made it to the top 10 on the Billboard Hot Rap charts, and they remained there simultaneously. In addition, he earned a rare diamond single, signifying 10 million records sold. Fetty Wap was a powerhouse in the music industry. However, even in the midst of this fame, he managed to make nearly every wrong decision in the book. His loyalty remained unwavering, but regrettably, it was often misplaced placing his trust in the individual who were detrimental to his career. He made questionable financial choices, leading to reckless spending. In the end, he turned out to be the biggest hurdle to his own success. Fetty Wap's life was married by adversity from the very beginning. He lost an eye due to glaucoma when he was just an infant, resulting in a childhood filled with relentless bullying. In the face of this hardship, music became his refuge. He took up the drums and was surrounded by melodies in his local church, even giving performances as a child. School didn't quite fit his rhythm and the feeling was mutual. He dropped out and the streets became his stage. It means to make ends meet. He ended up sleeping on friends' couches and floors. His life was far from conventional, but the most significant curveball was yet to come, becoming a father. With no financial stability, no solid plan, and a future that seemed destined for failure, he crossed paths with Monty, a local rapper who opened the doors to the music scene. Along with artists like P. Dice and Nit the Grit, they formed the Remy Boys, named after their shared love for Remy Martin's 1738 Cognac. Fetty's first track, Trap Queen, didn't gain recognition right away, but he had unwavering faith in it. They were making waves in their city, hustling CDs outside Broadway Pizza, and the dream was beginning to take shape. However, it was when they ventured onto the internet, relentlessly promoting Trap Queen on SoundCloud, YouTube, and Instagram, that their fortunes changed. The songs started getting traction, and eventually the world sat up and took notice. This newfound recognition led to a record deal with 300 Entertainment, setting off a whirlwind success. But with fame came financial recklessness. Fetty openly admits to spending millions in ways that many would find baffling, from luxury items to extravagant accommodations. However, his generosity knew no bounds, and he wasn't just about the fame for himself, he wanted to share the lifestyle with his friends. Then came a pivotal moment that would alter the trajectory of his career. He decided to remove a Drake feature from his hit song, My Way, to give Monty the spotlight. It might seem noble, but it ultimately proved detrimental to his career. This decision led to a rift between Fetty and Drake, a break that never healed. At the time, nobody could tell Fetty what to do, and while some of his choices were selfless, they came with unintended consequences. The music industry often demands sacrifices, but sometimes being too much of a regular guy in an industry that thrives on calculated moves can lead to unforeseen and painful outcomes. Fetty Wap despised the idea of connecting with celebrities and networking. In his eyes, the entire concept seemed disingenuous and artificial. His heart was rooted in New Jersey, surrounded by his real friends and his genuine sense of self. He chose to break the norm and it set him apart in an industry often driven by appearances and affiliations. Fetty Wap was a man who stayed true to his roots. He had distinct aversion to interviews, often opting to remain quiet and humble. Instead of centering the spotlight on himself, he dedicated his focus to those around him, showcasing a remarkable level of selflessness. While this quality is undoubtedly admirable, it did not always align with the cutthroat nature of the music business, which thrives on self-promotion and calculated moves. 
If you are enjoying the story of this hip hop star, don't forget to show some love by smashing that like button and hitting subscribe for more captivating hip hop content. Fetty went above and beyond to support everyone from his home state of New Jersey, offering them features in his music for free. He maintained an unwavering loyalty to his friends and associates, displaying a strong sense of camaraderie. However, this loyalty also had its drawbacks, as some of those who received his support began to develop different expectations and demands. The situation took a turn as risks began to form in his circles. One significant clash occurred with P. Dice, who had been part of the Remy Boys, the collective that Fetty helped propel to prominence. P. Dice's absence and disputes with other artists like Tax G further complicated the dynamics. The music industry, with its intricate web of relationships and expectations, is not without its challenges. Fetty also grappled with internal issues, including disputes within his team and disagreements with his management. All these factors contributed to a complex and tumultuous journey for Fetty Wap in the entertainment world. As 2017 rolled around, Fetty began to reevaluate his life and career. He came to terms with the fact that he needed to make some significant changes to regain control of his finances and steer his career back on track. His journey was marked by both commendable loyalty and the complexities of pride, self-belief, and the challenges of staying true to himself in an industry that often pulls in different directions. In 2018, as Fetty Wamp's career began to wane, he realized that he had spent his money recklessly, despite his pride in being financially savvy. Rumors started circulating about his involvement in street activities, adding a layer of complexity to his persona. Some questioned whether his career was a facade for other, more shadowy pursuits. However, this speculation remained speculative until his arrest in October 2021. Fetty Wamp's life took a dramatic turn when he was arrested shortly after leaving the stage at Rolling Loud in New York. He faced charges of conspiracy to distribute and possess controlled substances, with a sizable quantity of drugs and firearms confiscated by law enforcement. The scale of the operation pointed to a significant and organized drug trafficking network, casting a shadow over his music career. Upon his release on a $500,000 bond, Fetty Wap embarked on a whirlwind press tour to promote his 2021 album, The Butterfly Effect, seemingly unperturbed by his ongoing legal issues. Yet, he was arrested again in August 2022 after allegedly threatening someone during a FaceTime call while brandishing a firearm. This incident led to the revocation of his bond. In August 2022, Fetty Wap pleaded guilty to one count of intent to distribute controlled substances, including cocaine, heroin, and fentanyl. As a result, he was sentenced to six years in prison. Fast forward to 2023, and the once celebrated rapper found himself in a courtroom standing before Judge Joanna Sabert at a federal court in Central Islip, New York. His legal name, Willie Jr. Maxwell II, no longer carried the weight of stardom that Trap Queen had once brought. He received a sentence one year longer than the minimum, facing six years in prison for his role in the drug operation. During the sentencing, Fetty Wap greeted around 20 family members and friends who came to support him. His lawyer, Elizabeth Macedonio, argued that Fetty had been providing for numerous relatives and children, and the financial strain had driven him to seek additional income once live entertainment had dried up during the pandemic. Fetty Wap himself expressed remorse, offering an apology to communities and families affected by the drug trade. This final chapter in Fetty Wap's story illustrates the stark contrast between the success of his music career and the depths of his legal troubles. Despite a promising start and a rapid rise of fame, his journey took an unexpected turn. His case serves as a stark reminder of the complexities of fame and the consequences that can follow when one loses their way, even after reaching the pinnacle of success.